so yesterday we discuss about the general form of a linear regression i think you guys remember what is general form of linear regression that is ax plus by plus ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 that is general form of a linear regression to be able that is what we discussed last minute okay so today we are going to discuss about the solution of a linear regression solution means uh, the value of x and y so last year when we talk about the linear regression one variable suppose we have equation 2x plus 3 is equal to 0 then from there we know how to find the value of x implies 2x is equal to minus 3 or x is equal to minus 3 by 2 that is what we learned last year how many of you remember this yeah so some of you remember okay and in the last chapter in the chapter 2 poll levels also we done some problems like this clear so here we are going to find solution of equation 2 variable and for equation 1 variable there is one and only one solution for x there is only one answer here clear but when we come to the linear regression 2 variable the situation is different let us consider an example so uh, let us take the example 2x plus 3y here yeah, let us start with polar one okay x plus y is equal to 5 this is the question x plus y is equal to 5 so how can we get 5 suppose the value of x is 1 and value of y is 4 then we got 5 if x is 2 y is 3 we got 5 x is 3 y is 2 then also we got 5 x is minus 1 then y is 6 we got 5 okay like that could you tell me how many solutions can you write like this yeah we can take 0 plus 5 is equal to 5 okay minus 7 plus 2 is equal to 5 9 minus 4 is equal to 5 okay so if the value of y is minus 4 then it becomes 10 minus 4 is equal to 5 so we can write infinite number of solutions ways infinite number of solutions so that is why we say for a linear equation we have infinite number of solutions how many solutions infinite number of solutions we cannot say the number the number is very large for a linear equation in two variable there are infinite number of solution for a linear equation two variable there are infinite number of solution now we are going to discuss about how to find the solution of a linear equation suppose we have a linear equation 2x plus 3y is equal to 7 okay okay 2x plus 3y is equal to 7 that is our equation and for finding the solution we have to rewrite the equation let's write this equation x is equal to 7 is here on the right side when you take 3y to that side it becomes minus 3y and when we take this into 2 to the right side it becomes divided by 2 okay now we got an equation x is equal to 7 minus 3y by 2 okay uh, this is the same equation we rewrite it in this form now we can put some values for y and we got the values of x okay so let's start if y is equal to 1 suppose y is equal to 1 if y is equal to 1 what will be the value of x x is equal to 7 minus 3 into 1 by 2 that's equal to 7 minus we have to follow the board mass rule that means do you heard about board mass so first if there is a bracket you have to solve the 
uh, sum in the bracket. Then the priority is for division or multiplication. So here we have the multiplication. If there is a division or multiplication, you have to do that. So in this problem, there is a multiplication. So first we have to complete the multiplication. Then only we do the uh, subtraction or addition. Okay. So 3 into 1 is 3 divided by 2. That is equal to 4 by 2 is equal to 2. Clear? Now I am trying with another number. If y is equal to 2, y is equal to 2, then what is x is equal to 7 minus 3 into 2 by 2 is equal to what is 3 into 2? 6. 7 minus 6 by 2 is equal to 1 by 2. Clear? And if y is equal to minus 1, okay, suppose y is equal to minus 1, then what is the answer? If y is equal to minus 1, x is equal to 7 minus 3 into minus 1, all divided by 2. When you write all divided, you have to draw this line for all numbers. Okay. Is equal to 7 minus, minus 3 into minus 1, it becomes plus 3 by 2. That's equal to 10 by 2 is equal to 5. So, the solution of equation is so in the last chapter we learn how to write the coordinates first we write x and next we write y so here from here we can write 2 comma 1 x is 2 and y is 1 and from here we can write 1 by 2 comma 2 and here we can write 5 comma minus 1 so these are the three solutions so like this we can find infinite number of solutions so if you are asked to find four solutions you have to find one more if you are asked to find 10 solution you have to repeat this with the 10 numbers that is the only thing clear i think now you are clear with the how to find the solution of a linear equation to variable now next we have to discuss given points are the coordinates or not that is what we have to check okay so, so let us take a question, check whether the points 0, 0 are the solution, check whether the points 0, 0 are the solution of the equation 2x plus 3y is equal to Five. Okay. So how can we check? So zero zero means x is zero and y is zero. Okay. So what we have to do? We need to substitute the value to the corresponding variables. So that is equal to two into zero plus three into zero is okay. What is that? What is two into zero? Zero plus three into zero is zero. That is not equal to five. So 0, 0 is not a solution, is not a solution, 0, 0 is not a solution. Now let us try with another number, 1, 2, okay, we are going to 1, 2 then, what can we do, 2 into 1, because instead of x we have to substitute 1, 2 into 1 plus 3 into 2. What is that? 2 into 1 is 2 plus 3 into 2 is 6 is equal to 8 that is not equal to 5. That is 1, 2 is not a solution. And now let us try with 1, 1 and the question. Third question. First question is 0, 0. Second one, 1, 2. Third question is 1, 1. So when we try with 1, 1, what we got? 2 into 1 plus 3 into 1 is equal to 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. Okay. Therefore, 1, 1 is the solution. Okay. And so, so which is the solution? 
one one is the solution okay i hope you understand these concepts